Hi, I'm Elizabeth D'Arazio, host of Yankee Chronicle, and now we're going to be joining Blaine Davis, the owner of HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating. They're our sponsor, and they're going to be telling us some of their great products and services. Theory here has always been complete home service for everything that we install. We can also sell the new system, come back and do the service on it. And we do you know, training to, to ensure our technicians are certified to work on all the things that, not only the things that we install, but other makes and models out in the field. In addition to that, on our property in Kentucky, 76 Pine Street in Kentucky, we have 24 hour gas and diesel pumps for automotive fuels. We also have a propane refill station for your small grill size tanks, or maybe for your RV or boat as well as construction heat for contractors. In addition to that we also have automatic touch-free and self-serve car wash bays. We also have a self-serve pet wash. Those services are kind of on site where the customers come to us whereas the heating and air conditioning side we are more apt to go out to the customers locations. So with that service we also offer the fuel that you would need to burn uh, in those heating systems fuel oil or propane full delivery of those products as well and we can always come out and make a site assessment and see what your particular application might require and to back all of this up we have 24 7 365 emergency service with technicians on call when you call in to us you will get through to a service who will directly contact the technician so typically within an hour of your call, we will have a live person, uh, one of our employees on the phone with you to discuss what needs you may have after hours to make sure that we keep you comfortable, whether it's during the heating season or the cooling season. We typically have a backlog of service, so it's always good to get on a list and make a plan to have, think about these things as far as the maintenance. It also gives us more flexibility if you do have issues or aging systems that when we come out make a plan to see what we can replace or does the system itself need to be gone through a little bit more thoroughly and maybe we need to make a plan for a replacement of the entire system. As far as the technology into things is uh, get mainly gains to try and get efficiency. Mm -hmm. uh, people or uh, consumers want to have the most bang for their buck, so to speak. Increasing uh, fuel prices, electrical prices, it's very important to have some efficiency. When we talk about combustion efficiency of heating equipment, we have been burning oil and propane efficiently for years. So the change comes on the controlling end and it comes on the what do we do with that heat once we produce it? And that's through uh, use of different heat exchangers and smaller units. A lot of people comment on how the small, they get a new boiler and it's three quarters smaller yes. than, than, than what we took out. So what we're doing is gaining those efficiencies on the controlling end. A lot of changes in the, in the uh, safety controls, things like that, to make things safer, more efficient. And then most recently, I think the biggest change has been the consumer interface, where you can see what's happening on a lot of your appliances right on your phone. Not only for the heating, but also, I mean, you can do everything now. Your lighting, you know, you're coming home and your lights turn on as you're driving in the door yard. It's happening with the heating systems and the cooling systems as well. So we pride ourselves on looking at it as a case-by-case -case basis. Mm -hmm. There's not one answer for every customer out there. Even on the, on the technical end for our technicians, some of the diagnostic tools, some of that stuff is coming through right on their phones. So when we go into a house, we can use diagnostic tools on some of the system controllers to mm -hmm. see what happened. Then of course, uh, following through with contacting manufacturers, reps and things like that. Again, very quickly emailing from the basement, texting. So the technology is really probably one of the biggest changes. One of the things that we pride ourselves on and have a heavy focus on is, is being part of the local community. So I am fourth generation owner of HR Clough, a company started by my great grandfather over 80 years ago. And we have been in this same location for those 80 years. And one of the other things is when you call into us for service, whether it's during the day or after.
after hours. We are going to get you connected with somebody who is local to the area and who's going to be able to respond in a, in a short amount of time. Comparatively speaking, in our industry, we've seen a lot of uh, larger companies, some of them even from out of the country, buying up fuel companies. We pride ourselves in being local, being there when you need us, and being right down the street, certainly during the, the work week, if there's uh, anything that you need, you can um, visit our office and uh, stop by, or we can come out, set up a time, uh, meet with you and discuss what you may need. But we are a local company and plan to stay that way for many years to come. We'd like to thank Blaine and everyone at HR Clough and Kearsar Sheeting for sponsoring our show and allowing us to come here to Hopkinton and to meet with Donna and all of our friends and really show the best that this community has to offer.